Good evening. Well, today is Wednesday, September 13, 2023. It's update for Thursday, the 14th. All right, let's go. We know setups again tonight. Tonight, again, we're in one of those environments where the database is not producing a lot of meaningful setups. I'm looking at cannabis real hard right now. Just not, not a whole lot there. We'll take a look at the ETF in one second. I'm looking at the energy stocks, obviously, and then whatever else the scans are producing, and they're producing about 1,400 stocks, about 1,100 of those I go through until the volatility gets uh, too low to trade. Anyway, you can see nothing really turning up in here, just KBH left over. I did look at, or it caught my eye at least, I think it was American Eagle, but I didn't like the... Um, I didn't like the chart, and then also ASMR and the semiconductors, and you know, and all these things I kind of can pick them apart. There were some shorts that are kind of at low levels, as opposed to something like this KBH that's rolling over from a high level. So there's just not a whole lot out there, but I'm looking, uh, believe me. Let's take a look at the portfolio. LFMD rallied past this little top of the base, but then came back in again. I'm sure we'd like to see this thing just bang out that IPT. And not look back. K and F coming back a little. A bit of a bummer since we were just at all-time highs, but we're not too far away from all-time highs. KBH, nice sell-off off its worst levels, but a decent sell-off nonetheless. We're not in the black here, so there's no need to start adjusting the stops just yet. Let's take a look at the overall market, and then we'll drill down. Before we do that, let me just pull up MJ real quick and then maybe take a look at Apple. So you can see these... Pot stocks or 420s, whatever you want to call them, they're doing okay in here. A lot of them do have overhead resistance, like the market itself. You know, pot stock was. You now everybody got all excited about these things, and they they just were kind of like uh, they took off. Obviously, they came all the way back in. So lots and lots of overhead supply. I've met people that bought tons and tons of these things, and now they're holding on, looking to get off the hook. Uh, maybe that's a microcosm of things that are happening. Let's take a look at Apple real quick since we're up here. In fact, let's get the bow ties in here. So Apple, one of those big, hot, previous leaders type of stocks. It was at all-time highs, as you can see, not that long ago, back in January. But you can see that it's broken down since well below the 50 simple moving averages. Bow ties have obviously rolled back over in here. So that's not a pretty situation. Let's get back to... The P's real quick. S&P 500 up a smidge. Not a whole lot to get excited about there. Still looking kind of toppy longer term and still below the 50 simple moving average. Take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ composite up a smidge too. Off its best level. Still up a bit nonetheless. It too looking a little toppy. Has a bit of a head and shoulders top to it like the P's. Rusty same as it ever was but today it did kind of break down a bit right at these multi Weak lows, nearly multi-month lows, stuck in the middle of this sideways range. As you can see, energy's off a little in here. We should see setups here fairly soon. Sometimes uh, there's a few that, that have been popping up here and there that had some overhead supply, as discussed recently. A lot of areas not looking so hot in here. Let's take a look at manufacturing. As you can see, manufacturing tried to rally back up, or did rally back up to its old highs, and then now it's breaking down. Once again, M&C still looks ugly, although off of its worst levels. Still looks like a top remains in place there. Recent bow tie, as you know. Let's take a look at software. Software, a little bit of a bounce, but we had a gap down just yesterday. So that's looking questionable at best. Stalling right at these prior highs. You really hate to see a market do that. And finally, the semiconductors, a little bit of a bounce there, but off of their best levels. Certainly not enough to get excited about. Well below the moving averages as you can see. So let's just sit on our hands a little while longer and let things shake out. Again, maybe the energies, maybe the 420s. We'll find something to do at some point. And patience, as I preach, is key. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much.